What kind of control system are you guys running on this? So right now we're actually using, for the slicing side, we're using one of our software partners, AI Build. Mm -hmm. Their slicer is specifically designed for printing with six-axis robots. Yeah. So what we're printing here is a non-planar base. So with AI Build, it's very easy to just you know select your non-planar toolpath. It'll generate it, turn it into from G code to ABB's language, which is right. rapid, but it also works with all the other various robot brands as well as our equipment. We're kind of robot agnostic. So, okay. you know, all the major brands, our stuff works with it. That's very cool. Yeah. And it's amazing to see the non-planar stuff as well, right? Most 3D printers are gonna work in planar layers, right? And G-Code slices it into, into planar layers, but with a non-planar system like AI Build and the capability of a robot, you get to do all sorts of interesting things where you can change mechanical properties, for example, by going across what would normally be a Z-axis boundary line. Yep. Now you're no longer constrained by that constraint. Absolutely. System, yeah. yep. now, of course, when it comes to non-planar, you need to be able to have a steep approach angle to be able to get the different angles right with the robot. That's something where the Magnum Plus setup that you guys are running and, and the Mosquito Prime, it's sort of larger counterpart. It really shines because of the it's designed with a steep approach angle. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you can even see it in some of the movements here, but you know, that that uh, hot end is getting pretty low angle there. Yeah. And yeah, there's a, there's a lot of clearance. So yeah, mm -hmm. it allows us to do some pretty wild prints. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate yeah. the time.